dear friends welcome to this edition of uh, vbs uh, anatoma this video contains pictures of medical surgical and anatomical nature it's intended for a uh, specific student student audiences uh, in the field of medical dental nursing and other health care courses across the world therefore viewer discretion is advised for all other friends and well wishers today's lecture the video series is on lung gross anatomy in part 5 of this series we will cover the bronchopulmonary segments of the right lung i am dr bala subramanyam i am a professor in the department of anatomy here at st john's medical college bangalore india now the left bronchopulmonary segment has been explained in detail in video 4 and in the other previous videos general aspects uh, general features of the uh, lungs has already been uh, covered these links are available in the description box given below i would recommend you to go through it because i am going to go directly to the discussion of the um, bronchopulmonary segments this right lung just to recap quickly fissures and lobes horizontal fissure oblique fissure so remember costal and the medial surface are shown uh, in this photograph similarly upper lobe middle lobe and lower lobe next this area is a is a signature region on the medial surface the hilum um, that has been marked in addition note the apex at the top the diaphragmatic surface or the base at the bottom and the pulmonary ligament so in summary these are the points i would like to draw your attention before starting the discussion now here is a dissection of the right lung bronchopulmonary segments the dissection is ideally done from the medial side uh this is because for anatomy teaching purposes it is easier to dissect the tertiary bronchus from the medial side because it is very very close to the hilum now that is the only reason and second tertiary bronchi are reasonably large and they are very clearly seen all that you need to do is prune up the lung parenchyma in the vicinity remove other uh, structures of the um, bronchovascular tree preserve only the uh, tracheobronchial tree now the blue white dashed line is an important reference uh, that is the oblique fissure i remember uh, please i repeat this is the oblique fissure very very important otherwise it's difficult in a dissected lung to uh, keep the orientation next that's the uh, oblique fissure next the upper lobe is above and in front the lower lobe is below now let's uh, uh, highlight this area and see the structures uh, in this uh, uh, dissection now that's the lobar bronchus uh, that is the primary bronchus dividing into uh, one bronchus for each of the lobes upper middle and the uh, lower lobe next let's go and identify the tertiary bronchi of the upper lobe that is the apical bronchus anterior bronchus and posterior bronchus i repeat anterior apical and posterior upper lobe tertiary there are the three ones next apical they are the corresponding bronchopulmonary segments earlier we just saw the bronchi 
tertiary bronchi now we are identifying the apical the corresponding bronchopulmonary segments apical anterior bronchopulmonary segment posterior bronchopulmonary segment next just to highlight that's the um, flashing uh, outline of the posterior segment apical segment and anterior segment note that the apical and anterior are quite large next we are looking at the bronchi tertiary bronchi supplying the middle lobe that's the lateral and the medial uh, tertiary bronchi or the segmental bronchi now the lateral is not very clearly visible so we will try to blow it up a little bit and see it in more clarity this is the slide i have actually shifted the uh, push the lobe aside to give more clarity to the uh, hilar region that's all it's the same specimen now we see when a lateral and medial segmental bronchi or see we will enlarge that area you will get a better view that's the lateral and this side is the medial bronchi next we will have a quick recap apical anterior posterior bronchopulmonary segment now a series of uh, lectures are available on this uh, channel vbs um, anatoma students who find it useful may consider subscribing to this channel and also press the uh, bell button for important notifications new videos whenever added we will notify you next the same what we learned so far let's try to identify in a costal surface that is uh, the surface uh, just adjacent to the thoracic wall upper lobe middle lobe and lower lobe are demarcated by the dashed blue white dashed lines apical this is these are the, now we are looking at actually the basis of the bronchopulmonary segments apical anterior posterior note that i have kept cotton to enhance the gaps uh, uh, between uh, the uh, bronchopulmonary segments likewise lateral and medial bronchopulmonary segments of the middle lobe now we have not yet covered the inferior lobe therefore we will we will not identify at this stage we will come back to that again now lower lobe details now the dissection has been extended now and uh, the lower lobe uh, tertiary bronchi have been uh, dissected out and let's identify now that is the apical bronchus lateral bronchus see basically the lower lobe we divided to one apical and all the four rest of the four is basal that means lateral basal posterior basal medial basal and anterior basal i think this needs we need to repeat once apical lateral basal posterior basal medial basal anterior basal now this five bronch bronchi tertiary bronchi let's try to identify the corresponding bronchopulmonary segment to which they are associated with now you see apical this is lower lobe apical bronchopulmonary segment contrast this with the upper lobe bron apical bronchopulmonary segment which we discussed earlier it's in at a much higher position that's the posterior bronchopulmonary uh, segment lower lobe posterior basal medial basal 
anterior basal. So, apical, posterior, medial and anterior basal shown here. I cannot show you the lateral basal because it is on the other side. The base of this lateral basal is on the uh, costal surface. So, we will see it in another photograph. Except for one, I have shown the other four. Now, you see. I have taken a slightly posterior view, posteromedial view. You can re-identify the same. See, that is the lateral basal. You see, lateral basal, which was not shown in the previous slide, is now shown. That's the posterior basal, medial basal. Now, you see, this is therefore a, a consolidated uh, a summary where all the bronchopulmonary segments and the feeding tertiary bronchi are here available. Let us try to uh, take a consolidated look um, and identify as much as possible. There may be a random labeling, but it is intended uh, to, to keep you uh, on the uh, alert. Now, you see medial basal, lower lobe, apical, watch carefully, upper lobe, Posterior basal, lower lobe, anterior basal, lower lobe, apical of the lower lobe, lateral and medial together I have shown because the hand is coming in the way. Otherwise, we have seen the two separate ones in the costal surface. This is middle lobe, posterior segment, upper lobe anterior segment once again upper lobe now bp segments re let's re-identify from the costal surface only the bases of the lobes are seen the apices are on the uh, opposite side uh, where the tertiary bronchi enters see that's the lateral basal remember this is a costal surface right lung lateral basal apical of the lower lobe, anterior basal. Now that was an overview. So we try to cover in this short discussion various tertiary bronchi and the corresponding bronchopulmonary segments. This slide, I am just quoting a few references. I have already informed um, you that it's it's difficult anatomically to clearly see the connective tissue partition between the surgical uh, spaces between the bronchopulmonary uh, segments. The way generally it is identified is you, you clamp a bronchus and its feeding vessels, inflate the lung, rest of the lung and only this part because of lack of blood supply and oxygenation. Uh, it will be deflated. It stands out in contrast with the rest of the lung that is inflated. This is one way of uh, uh, ensuring the boundaries of a bronchopulmonary segment. That is the segment which you are planning to resect. But there are other ways. Like for example, now there is a recent uh, report where one team has identified, injected after, after clamping the uh, tertiary bronchus, distal to the clamp, inject methylene blue along the bronchial tree. This immediately stains the entire parenchyma of the lung uh, supplied by this tertiary bronchus. And uh, they have mentioned in the literature that there is a very good demarcation between this stained bronchopulmonary segment and the neighboring segments. This is a very good idea. Next, fluorescent Indocyanin green has been used for identification of uh, intersegmental plane. Now, what is done is uh, after clamping the specific uh, bronchovascular tree at the tertiary bronchus level, bronchovascular, I mean, uh, you inject an iodine based dye, indocyanin, uh, into a, a peripheral vein that is into the general systemic circulation within about uh, one minute or so the fluorescence is very clearly uh, visible in the whole of the lung except 
the bronchopulmonary segment that has been clamped. This uh, uh, has been reported that on under OT, it gives you a very good uh, um, contrast between the um, specified lung segment and the surrounding lung tissue. Now, these are the two points I just wanted to add uh, in this discussion for completion uh, purpose. I hope you have uh, benefited from uh, the series of lectures on the bronchopulmonary segments and the gross anatomy of the lung uh, specifically. And now if there is any feedback, you can write to me on this uh, email ID or you can also put it in the blog box available in the uh, description uh, area, text description area below this uh, video. Uh, thank you for your uh, patient listening.